Welcome back. What a week it has been for Nick Hammond and his drive team on their Heritage Tour. What have they not done? We have obviously been uncovering some hidden gems across South Africa and we are connecting with them right now with the Five Drive team in the rain. Hey, 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 hey guys, morning. This is how much we love you. The shot is too good to pass up, but this rain is not fake. It's very much real. We hope you're well. Hello. <laughs> Uh, Nick, I want to start with you. Please tell us about your latest adventure and, of course, the experience you had in Limpopo. Yeah, so the latest adventure that we had was in Limpopo. We went to a small village, Mukula Village is its name, just next to uh, an incredibly beautiful part of the province where we met a guy by the name of Mulalo Negondeni, who, when he was a kid in school, started building out of recyclable materials a replica of Soccer City, Soccer City, Johannesburg. He'd never been, he'd only seen pictures, but he was a massive fan of soccer from the time that he was growing up. And he started doing this thing intricately, looking at designs, trying to get it just perfect and all the while everyone in the community around him from what we could tell thought that he was doing something silly his mother I don't think even understood it but eventually when this thing was constructed and built it ended up going viral on social media and became such a big thing that he ended up getting an architectural internship for his incredible efforts and it taught us or reminded us rather that if you want to do something in life don't worry about what other people think just go out and do it like that's the point and that's the kind of thing we're trying to drive home with this exceptional story Absolutely awesome and inspiring stuff. So, BB, I'm going to turn to you now. What is it about Limpopo, that part of our beautiful country that you loved and found so great? The Limpopo province is so amazing, you guys. First of all, that is the best place in this country to find acha. All other provinces don't bother because the best acha is found in Limpopo. I mean, last year on the Heritage Tour, we got to go to Giani, experience just the beautiful place that is Giani, dance in a shibelane, and get to learn more about the Shitonga culture. And this time around, we got to go to Toyando, which I learned for the first time that Toyando means head of an elephant in Shivenda. Just wow. And uh, uh, the part of Toyando that we went to is just so beautiful and it's so tropical and again the mangoes the uh, the mangoes that make the acha are just so amazing over there and then we also got to see Pulukwane which is so different from uh, Toyando which you know it's so dry and it's so arid it's like wow this is one province and all this beauty is in one province ah oh, Limpopo is where it's at man Ew, the huge. energy that you Infused. get in that place. I, I love now. it. <laughs> I just want to go back to that replica for a second now Jude you being the sports aficionado on the show what do you think of the replica of Soccer City? So, having been to both the Nego City Soccer City and the real-life Soccer City, I can tell you that the, the similarities is just insane. Uh, what I liked about it is that the real-life Soccer City, it, the, the field of play is not at ground level. It goes down a bit. And at Nego City, it's exactly the same. I'm quite impressed on how he got it so exact. Nadia, let's have a little bit of fun here. Fun question for you today. Who is the best and who is the worst at waking up? Because I understand you woke up super early this morning. I feel like we have all had our moments. I mean, everyone struggles to wake up because we have such long days. We wake up super early. We drive for hours and hours. We collect content. We do the show. We go to bed late. And then it all starts again the next day. So I think everyone has had their moments in terms of waking up late or being late. Um, but I will say that I think uh, personally, uh, Jude is at least always the earliest. Uh, that, that's good. I'm not going to out anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Enough said. Oh, yeah, Enough said. exactly. Five Drive, thank you so much for sharing this story. We do appreciate that. And have the best time on the road and be safe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to get out the rain. <laughs> the rain is auspicious, man. It's yeah. a good sign. It's a good sign. Their journey does continue. That's the Five Drive team celebrating South Africa's unbelievable heritage and doing it in the best way possible, Absolutely. discovering those hidden gems. Just take the time, yes, to connect to the place, but connect to the people. You have no idea how many amazing South Africans there are doing these things that no one has even seen. They just fly under the radar. So the next time you can, get in a car. We might not be able to travel internationally, but yeah. we can still explore our own backyard. So get out there and discover some of those hidden gems for yourself. And share them on the Expresso Facebook page. <laughs> we share news with you. Here's Jamie Lee.